Are you ready to lose it? In fact, are you just ready to make up for last week? Are you ready? I think it's time to relinquish control. Can we go psycho? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, you already did last week. <laughs> I want to go psycho. I love the term going I psycho. Like, I like more. I want to go hyper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go hyper. I want to be hyper. <laughs> I'm a hyper. It was like a You're thing. listening to God is Dead, the most hyper psycho podcast <laughs> in the friggin' universe, baby. <laughs> my stepdad knew some guy who was a teacher, right? At this school, um, it's like my local high school. And um, apparently he got fired or suspended or like in trouble because this kid kept using his phone. And he was like, hey, stop using your phone. The kid um, wouldn't stop. He's like, all right, that's it. Like, give me the phone. And he sort of goes to take the phone from the kid and he won't let go. And so he's like pulling it. And then it eventually goes flying in the air, hits the ground and smashes. The kid told his parents, he went to the parents and said, oh, the phone's broken because the teacher went psycho (laughs) and took my phone and threw it to the ground, which is just not what happened. But they believed the kid. So, you know, let's let's do that on this episode. So if you're listening to this podcast, take your phone and throw it on the ground. Do it. It. My name's Bryce Mills. My name's Campbell Walker. This is a podcast where we take things from the internet, from the world. We ask, does it prove God is dead? We think they do. We come and prove to you, hopefully, through this case, our cases. But we'll see. This is the evidence and let's see how we go. Uh, everything we talk about, if you want to keep up with the videos that we're talking about, there's two ways. One is our Instagram, God is dead, not clickbait. But we are, are on the YouTube as well. Fucking sound like a parent. You're on the YouTube yeah. listening to Justin Beaver. <laughs> oh, the cat videos. Uh, oh, <laughs> fuck me. Did you see that pen pineapple apple oh, pen, did you? <laughs> oh, you're watching your memes and cat videos. I had cat videos I can't do, man. That's like... <sighs> Let's just do the pod. Let's go. God is dead. Case one. The dark side of Francis. Oh, no. I don't want to know any dark side. This guy is the best. Yeah, let's give context. If you haven't seen it, there's a guy on TikTok. His name's Francis Bourgeois. Is that how you actually say his last name? We're never going to be able to say that, Bryce. I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong, Francis. That's a 10 meter hurdle that we just can't climb. But um, he is a guy, has 1.2 million followers on TikTok. And essentially, like, it's definitely a guy who, if you think of no fizzy drink, row hit, you think of anyone in the genre of videos that make you smile and just go, oh my God, this is someone who's so passionate and so unpoisoned by the world. He's a train spotter. He goes out and films uh, himself looking at, at trains. In fact, he's even got this cool camera set up where he attaches the cameras to his head so yeah. he can like, really show you exactly what he's seeing. And then you see his face and every single time he sees a train, he knows what it is and he's just exhilarated, man. So let me just play you some audio of, this is the time where he was sitting on a, um, what do you call it? Like a fold out chair and fell over because the train went so fast. Coming up now is a class 377 from Littlehampton to Southampton Central. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. So cool, Aww. very simple, very cool. So beautiful. Yeah, and then he even had a video where there was the last time these trains were going to kind of venture and he starts crying. Oh, and Can we watch it? Yeah, yeah. Today, I'm saying goodbye to two Class 43 HSTs, my favourite trains. They're going to the station in the sky, aka the scrapyard. Oh my God, that's emotional. And he so also funny. dresses up real fancy and all dresses of them as up, well, yeah, I should say. Like but real yeah. fancy. So that, that video genuinely got a lot of people to feel something about a train, right? Oh, like, man, I was feeling something about trains. As these videos do. Um, and, you know, like, let's keep in mind, he obviously knows what he's doing to some extent in that, like, he picked emotional music. He... Uh, the, the GoPro angle is fucking objectively funny and so I think he knows it's, <laughs> it's peculiar kind of like, yeah real Malcolm in the middle sort of camera lens like and all you see is his face fish eye ten, two centimetres from his face right that's objectively funny he's um, obviously but, good at the, the st- like it's videos he's very charming very charming He's like, yeah, he's like an attractive 21-year-old guy from the UK and is very passionate about trains, right? I love his videos and I'm a really big fan of him, 
right? However, well, let's let's put it this way, right? Oh no, no, I'm no, not no, the no. guy saying however. <gasps> There's haters. Oh, right. There are oh. Francis haters. Oh, and mm. these haters need to fucking chill out because I'm gonna fucking get angry in a second. Right? Who are his haters? Who could possibly hate this? Okay. Who are his haters? Well, there was a video that emerged of Francis at a nightclub. <sighs> Who What's could... that meant to be? Well, what apparently, does that mean? it's the smoking gun. What? Oh, that he's like faking it and that he's not actually this like adorable, un- unadulterated guy. This video, right, yep. that we're watching now, him at the nightclub, there's this thing where people can't fathom that he would be out at a nightclub because, oh, he's the weird train guy. That, that He can't like more Th- than one thing. This man thing. has one interest and one interest only. And there's this, I guess there's this weird thing where people think that he's, let's say, neurodivergent. They're going, well, hold on. Why is he at a nightclub? That doesn't make sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Why doesn't it make sense? Why doesn't it fucking make sense? Oh, God, those people suck. And, oh, and it was, sorry, he was at a festival. Okay, maybe and he likes festivals as the well. The nightclub one I saw most recently, the festival one was what kicked off the controversy. They're like, oh my God, he's at a um, festival. How could he possibly be the guy we think he is? Hey. He's dressed kind of normally in the video, so you get the idea that, um, yeah. So what, what I'm coming to you with yes. is rage because Fantastic. it's bullshit. It is bullshit. It's absolutely bullshit. These people are trying to tear this guy down. He he even had to make a response video. Oh my god, being poor like, Francis. Oh no, hey, just so you know, like I like, you know, I just like hanging out with my friends at festivals. It's all good. Like I still love trains and he he put up a video of him as a kid playing with a model train, like and being like, <sighs> "See, it's been a thing since I was a kid." And I, I oh, just and I now just he has hate- to prove himself to these freaking small brain idiots. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's just judge it. Fine. Judge if you've never listened to the podcast before, the final judgment is where we take the evidence. We say, does it prove God is dead or that God is alive? Cam, let's talk about, like, it's not the Francis. Well, I think he's obviously a God is alive type figure. But this angle of, like, oh, well, he's faking it, he's faking it, he's faking it. Mm. It has that really weird suspicion that I think a lot of people on the internet have, which is kind of like a gotcha moment. Yeah, I what's feel- the joke? Yeah, what's yeah, the yeah. prank? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, like, there is this sensation that i think a really cynical internet user or like like the on it like I'll, I'll say it not very intelligent internet users have about people Damn. where they're just like oh this must somehow be tricking me yeah or yeah, there is yeah. something that you're not revealing and i think you see this a lot when anybody like slips up or makes a mistake and then you know people like you know go crazy even though it's a small mistake and you yeah. see it a lot in stuff like this where it's just like no you're meant to be one thing but i see this other thing yeah. and it's like the suspicion is that everybody is a horrible person yeah, and that this one slip up is almost like indicative of their entire personality and completely undermines it. Yeah. Well, or in Francis's case, this one other interest completely undermines his interest in trains. The more people are pedestal, the more yes. people start looking around for this stuff, right? Oh. Like you see anyone that rises quickly, people start looking and digging and going, no, 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 hold on. No one's good. No <laughs> one's all good, right? <laughs> Hang on. In the 2000s, when everybody was making awful problematic jokes that didn't pass our moral code, you also made a joke like that. Hang on. Gotcha. 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 This is... Is your entire personality so yeah Ugh. and now now francis but it's, it's also different i feel like it's analogous to that and i'm not like just out here being like be perfect but with francis that's just someone's expectation of who francis should be they're just projecting what they think a train spotting guy is and maybe they're just picking up on his video oh no i can t- i can fill in the blanks yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> How yeah, yeah. Can you? the hubris is gigantic and also it's kind of like mean it's mean to put this guy in a box yeah i mean look that's and that's the thing it's funny with like parasocial relationships that the internet fosters every, every day right the whole thing with like if you it's like and, and we've had this for, for years right your parents think that the news guy is their friend <laughs> and your parents are like oh I only trust Mark you know I don't like I don't like Peter I like Mark because Mark he tells it straight that para- <laughs> Mark doesn't give a fuck about you he might uh, he may well but if you came up to him in the street and were like yo Mark how funny was it when this happened he wouldn't remember he's like what the fuck you know what I mean so, speaking from experience <laughs> no I, I'm not going to sound sorry, like sorry, that sorry. Oh, 
my god but no absolutely not like um <laughs> mark doesn't give a fuck about i'm you. talking about like huge big big big, big, big no no, big, no big, big, i know what you're talking sorry sorry, sorry. I was, so that was that was rude of me it's like the parasocial thing where it's oh i i know everything there is to know about this person mm. you don't and you just no one can with anything online i don't know megan the stallion I like her music. I don't know her. And it's so weird that there are people who don't know her who fill in all the blanks that she doesn't put online. And it's like, oh, she likes anime. So actually she's different to like, what you, she might be the same or she might be different. Or she Doesn't might hate matter. anime. And when she does, if you get angry at her for not liking anime, you're weird, man. She, she says she likes it, right? So you're a bad person. People then associate you have to like anime and then you have to also be this. It's like that thing when you're a kid and you're like, oh, all people are like this because this one thing happened to me with this one type of person. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I know. I know illustrators. I know them. I knew a guy once. His name was Truthless. And honestly, yeah, I don't want to ever talk to one ever again. How do you know? How have you made up How your mind you with know? such incomplete data? So this is going to sound like some damn ranty podcast, but essentially with this Francis guy, I just want to go, hey, can we just let someone have multiple interests and give him a break and not be looking for that smoking gun? I, I guarantee there are people right now looking around to see if they can catch him out. And the worst part and be is that person to be like, yeah, look what I found. Guys, I made everything awful again. And I guess that's kind of the premise of our podcast. But like the thing that annoys me is it's like you could be pointing your lens at really bad people and you're pointing at your lens at someone who's like whether or not they're fake, they're bringing joy. And he is like, yeah. come on, use your intuition. This dude's lovely. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I think it's, it's let, let the pure art be the pure art. Mm. Let him do his thing. And I, it sucks that he had to come out and defend himself because of the... And like the comments, like, no, you're, you're just faking it. This is all a character. And I was looking around and I was people being like, no, he admitted it. He admitted it. Or like, uh. there's that thing as well where it would be like, oh, I heard him talk different in a different video or whatever or something. Uh, no, you're, you're listening for Internet it. detectives. Uh. Uh, and then you just wonder if we're taking that attitude into... Our real life, I don't know if that's kind of a thing that's happening that's a little more philosophical. But the point being, I think it just... I was terrified when I thought that it could be a fake. I was terrified when I heard that it was a stunt. That's and what I, they want from you, bro. I started looking around and I'm happy to say I don't think it's a stunt. I think there are people out there that don't think he's self-aware in any way. And I Ugh. think, look, the GoPro camera is pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, it's a cool, funny angle. He, you know, he's definitely got his own style. And that's the thing he's allowed to like music and go to a nightclub. And there's those people that are like, well, how can that be true? Why not? Those people don't know enough people like Francis. Well, there's, yeah. There's and God's dead because they're not. Oh, okay. Spicy. That was and we're out. putting it. Damn. God is dead. Case two. Lights, camera, barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Man, it's this weird genre of video where... You go to the barber shop, and I've never been to one, <laughs> bro. Where where else would you get your sweet fade? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I want to actually get mine at Culture Kings, where you can listen to really loud music at the same time. Thank God, that is, nothing pairs better with conversation that I don't want to have. Totally. And then you get these barbers who are trying to obviously plug their business. And I've seen videos where it's normal. It's like, okay, today we're giving this guy a medium tape router, blah, 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 blah. And you go, oh, that's fascinating. Cool. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's an artwork. Go off. Have Love it. Have you seen the videos where people are just completely covered in wax? And they're doing like a waxing video and their whole face is like covered in, in um, <laughs> green wax. What is this? And they've got like things up their nose and on their Shrek? monobrow and stuff. And yeah, then the yeah, video... Yeah, yeah. Yeah will be the guy just ripping it off. Like oh my God. Ripping this is hectic. Once it solidifies, pulling really hard at their head and getting... It's all over his face. How can he even breathe? Well, I mean, he's, he's got his nostrils and his mouth. Like, look how hard it is for the ear. barber. Wow, dude. So, like... And you get the point, right? Yeah, yeah. He basically is waxing this guy's entire head. Like, yeah. From like basically the neck up It's but just covered in wax And then, then what happens I need to Oh well dude th- Does he get all the wax off? I, I don't know if this one cut short Usually they do Yeah Well that's frustrating And like They always This guy's laughing But there's ones where the clients Are just like Completely hating it Oh my goodness And you know You get more stunty ones And This guy getting the facial On the cheeks Like Look at his face. He's trying to pretend he's chilling, but he actually, it really hurts. The ear. The ear. <laughs> yeah, cool, 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 cool. Like, you get the you idea. Yeah, totally We're get back it. to this guy again. And then ripping off all the stuff on his face. Damn. And 
there's ones where honestly the whole head is moving like they're yeah. ripping just ripping like jerking, ripping jerking jerking the wax of the head but then mm. I, fa- <clears throat> I found funnier versions of it thank god where it's tough man but they've obviously gotten kids who have come in for a fresh faint yeah and been like yo you want to pose for my tiktok real quick <laughs> this video has millions of views. It's hashtag baby, hashtag love, hashtag job, hashtag barber, hashtag top cuts, hashtag for you page. There's a bit going on. Now, this kid's got a fresh cut. Yeah. But. <laughs> a dope fade. What homie. would make it even better is spraying his entire head <laughs> in, in hairspray and yeah. making him do a pose, which they make this kid do, like, put his finger up and pose while he's absolutely trying to not suffocate. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So he puts the um, hair gel on his hair. This is the exact type of music I thought would be playing. He's wincing the whole time. Aww. And then look at this bit. Oh, <laughs> oh no, little baby. Oh, poor kid. No, yeah, you just, you just... So they get this kid and he's like trying to put his finger up to be like, hell yeah. And he's just completely he's covered like, in spray. Not. Yeah, his face and his finger are not saying the same thing. I'll then tell you that. we have, Ooh. I believe, a similar technique. Oh, this kid's got to be like... Three, four? Three or four, right? 1.6 million likes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have you heard this Wearing song for a while? Minion long sleeve. Oh, yeah, little. The, the, the thing that I... I have a trauma d- response to that song. Yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> the thing with all these videos that I don't understand is like, so this kid is getting all these strings of wax put in his hair. Again, it's very beneficial if you go to the Instagram for this one. Mm-mm. But... You know, with the with the ripping the wax on the face, with the with the hair thing, with the spraying nitrous fucking oxide or whatever it's called, and that kid's fucking <laughs> need for speed <laughs> shit in that kid's face. Have you ever stopped to go, hey, the client looks kind of uncomfortable. Is this the best advertisement <laughs> that we could possibly have for our business? <gasps> oh. I don't know because this kid looks fucking uncomfortable. He's like, what are you doing? He looks confused. Oh, and the kid's head is just getting knocked about. And then he's getting all the cool, like, hairstyle with way too much wax. And then this the wax, it's kind of raining wax. You're going to be able to snap this kid's hair in fucking half <laughs> once he's done with it. And he just puts it into a stupid top knot. Yeah. It's very waxed to the fuck. Greasy top knot. But look at the kid. He's just like, what are you doing? This kid just looks completely disinterested And yet these guys are like Yo, put this up on Instagram this Or is t- it. TikTok This is it This is the video It's so bizarre And I think I just need your like Expertise as a Advertising guy Because it seems pointless to me Final judgment Alright Barbershop Hollywood, man Getting your client to sit down and go Oh my god, this cut was awesome Let's film what is the benefit of these kids that look completely in discomfort or the, the total head waxing thing where they're ripping the wax off as hard as they can? Even the adults look uncomfortable. I will have to give them the benefit of the doubt here just for the first take. And I will say that what they're trying to do is, you know, get their barbershop bigger so they can get more clients and more money, maybe even expand, set up another one, basically get like advertising for their barbershop, right? Mm. And when we see a kid... Does it's that look pr- appealing to you, though? Well, I don't know, because, like, if... <laughs> if, if, if I mean, I don't... It's eye-catching. Dude, I don't have any hair. Like, nothing of that... It, it's, it's like, I'm just like, eh, fuck. But no, but that, that's the thing. All check these guys, your privilege, everybody. These guys don't have long hair, dude. They have, like, really short hair, so it's like getting all the little ones out. You'd be a perfect candidate for this Yeah, for the waxing. Thing. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I should try it. I, I honestly, when I saw that, as a bald guy, I was curious. Interesting. I will tell you that. I was like, yeah, maybe that's what I need because... Just, you know, shaving your head with a razor can be annoying all the yeah. time. And I stopped doing it. I just shave it now with like an electric razor. Okay. Yeah. And, but I don't know if I had like a, a dude who just came to my house and filmed a TikTok as he did it and just covered my head in wax every day. Man, I'd be down. And if anybody wants to do that, I will put that on my story every single day. That's going to be the exchange because that's basically what's going on here. It's wow. views for money. And yeah, right. I think like with the kids, it's just saying like, yo, you can bring your kids here. We're kid friendly. <laughs> And sure. with the other things, it's just like, we do waxing, but here's the most obscene version of it. Yeah, right. right. It's like, we'll really get in there. Yeah. We'll get yeah, the yeah. nitty gritty. It's like a Hilux ad. Like, mm. you know, Hilux ads where they Oh, they're like, in the fucking yeah, Amazon and stuff. Exactly. So yeah. the Toyota Hilux, if you don't know what a Hilux is, um, it's, you know, it's huge, huge. Ute kind of thing. A truck, a pickup truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the whole idea College. Yo, let's go tailgating, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, come on. <laughs> Gray, <laughs> what? That's your college Yo, name. Tanner. Yo, Cole. Tanner, get in here, bro. Get in here, Yo, Tanner. Pike chapter. Let's assemble, bro. <laughs> yeah, We're going on. tailgating Beer for the me. Gators. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and so the whole tagline behind the Hilux is that it's indestructible. And they'll do the classic shots where it like goes through the mud puddle and the mud splatters up on the camera. But then they'll also do, and this, I don't know if these ads went beyond Australia, but they'll do ads where they'll literally like push the Hilux off a cliff. Oh, and it would like yeah. roll down this hill and then just land on like a beach or something. And it would kind of like bounce. It would have a couple of dings, but then someone get in and drive in and it'd be like, Hilux, indestructible. Yeah. And... You as a potential Hilux buyer, you were never going to push your Hilux off a cliff. No. But you were like, man, if I get into a prang, they die instead of me. That's the message, mm. in my opinion. I mean, there's other messages. Like, you know, if I take this thing like four by fouring, then I'm not going to like, you know, like lose it in like some boggy mud or I don't know. I'm yeah. clearly not an outdoorsy car guy. But I think that's kind of the same tactic here. Let's show you the most extreme version so you can translate it and just, you know, if we can do this, we can definitely do what you need. Mm. However, what, what about, I would say yeah, what is, about the kid is, is ones? Well, well, this is this is what you want to hear now, why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> well, my bias wants to have confirmed. <laughs> no, but, but I mean, but this is also the truth. Why, why it's not working and why you're picking up on this being like, Bro, this is weird. Like, I I believe the reason they have so many views is not because so many people need this service. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Why, why do you think they have so many views? Because they're absurd. Because they are absurd. The Eye-catching and absurd, and especially the kid getting fucking a kerosene sprayed into his eyes and, and trying like, to put his finger know, up. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. The it, finger gesture is just really funny to me. If I were dunk, a parent dunk, and dunk. I was wanting to get my kids hair cut and I saw them not only filming my child, but then like spraying ha hairspray, I'd be actively repelled. I'd be like, nah, ha, 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 dude. Um, um, that's, I'm not having that. It, and you know what? Hey, I don't have short hair, but I do believe that in both examples, way too much product is applied. Damn. You know a kid, like, you're going to have to wash it out. The kid doesn't know how to maintain its own hair. So you're going to have to wash that out the next day. It's or it's like going to get all the pillow. below peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honey, I'm burning the pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like these kids are just, they look cool for the gram. And then it's like, you go deal with it now. Yep. Oh, and also there's, you know, noxious fumes in your kid's head now. Yeah. So yeah, I think where it falls short is like the idea is strong and the execution is just like not all participants are making this look as cool as the music is. And <laughs> people, like we pick up on everything, man. Well, the Johnny Johnny music Johnny, is also not Johnny, even good. Yes, Papa. And like, I feel like somebody picked that because they're like, okay, we want to bang it. Oh, but it's for kids. Bang it yeah. for kids. <gasps> Bras. All the three-year-olds scrolling TikTok yeah, looking for a haircut. <laughs> Johnny, yeah. Johnny. yeah. <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> Jump step. Fuck. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Eating sugar. So is Let's God go. dead? That's that's the million dollar question. Gotta be like, well, yeah. I mean, because <laughs> the internet has kind of made everything about catching attention and shock value, and like as opposed to delivering the service that like people want. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, this is like the drop shipping of haircuts, right? Like, it's <laughs> sort of just like, don't know, don't worry. It's like so get good. iced out, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, I guess these guys have got that business tunnel vision. Where isn't it so funny? How you know you? I think so many people think that they're like impervious to clout like you know it's like you'll see people that um are obsessing over likes and engagement and who work in you know entertainment or, or modeling or whatever it is and your your freaking your uncle who owns a barber is like yeah okay like nice life yeah and it's like well how come you're sitting here obsessing over your social media engagement for your business because all oh, right your livelihood depends on it oh isn't that funny because it's the exact same thing as the model you just think you're better because it's a barber shop and it's traditional oh but it's oh it's the same thing oh and you're like trying drastic things to oh that's funny what's going on greg what's going on you're what's doing on, buddy? you're doing the exact same thing where you're getting tunnel vision as fuck you're going hey let's put this three-year-old in here and kick him up the ass <laughs> for a tiktok like before yes, Papa. Bef the kick the, the before before the kick is he's got long hair and he kicks him up the ass and then the after is he's got short hair it's like see it's that it's that easy boom baby and all the comments are like what's wrong with you oh they just don't get it they, if they had a business they'd understand turns out everyone's got the same grind greg <laughs> and you just need to calm down and you need to freaking chill out and you need to realize that you're not unique <gasps> and these kids are going to die one day of oh. gas inhalation. So <laughs> you're just going to have to deal with that later. What, 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 what meme are you going to post when that happens? Oh, there it is. There it is. You brought it home. So, kids hey, dying. Kids. Yeah. Let's, let's, we can all agree on this podcast. We don't want any child to die. So yeah, that's, that's our tagline. <laughs>
<laughs> it should be. Yeah, it's good. It's That's funny good. we haven't actually. It's funny we haven't made a statement on it until 100, 104 or five. <laughs> Your episodes silence in or whatever. is deafening, Bryce. Yeah, I'm surprised that you didn't say something, dude. So I'll be investigating that after we wrap up this episode. You, you're saying dead as well. Um, great. Um, don't be jealous of the kids hair <laughs> don't what, let what that influence saying? your decision yes when every industry needs its content dialed up to the 11s we start to see not a, like i just think it polarizes people it polarizes the people who are giving traditional haircuts and it polarizes the people who just only want to do the weird stuff and we we lose the middle class of barbers so yeah god's dead you know who give me I, a spectrum baby you know who i want to give my child a haircut who would do a good job who the youtubers that did the spaghetti video from a couple of videos ago they would treat it normally so yeah i wish they could use those distraction techniques to get my nervous child to sit down for a haircut because apparently all you have to do is point to the window and he turns with as you said the quote was his full attention to the window yeah dude can we scream to end this case ready very simple very simple listen two lessons you have to take your own one out of it but H haters and haircuts haters yeah. and haircuts what do you think that's what really counts yeah let us know in the comments if you're on youtube genuinely we haven't really been able to do that before like say that as an unironic thing so you can do that instagram's got his dead not clickbait you can follow all the media and stuff there please of course subscribe <laughs> anywhere review it at all costs any single place tell a friend find your favorite one scroll through the 100 and something episodes find one that you think would tailor perfectly to your friend this one could be for someone that lost francis it could be for someone who's about to own a barbershop and thinks dude i'm gonna make a green screen movie for every client that comes in tell them just don't do it this way hey that's bryce's take i'm all for the green screen movies what it's worth and, and that offer right of you um you said if someone wants oh, to yeah. come and shave anybody your head. wants to like put wax on my head i am so down for that i want to try that yeah you know what the advertising worked god's alive i take it back oh. yep and Damn. Uh, that's a that's a very post yeah it's like in chess you once you move the piece or touch it you have to do it nah man Nah, you can, you can just take it back and annoy everyone. <laughs> and isn't that the funny thing with this with this podcast? There's no hard and fast rules. So don't forget, any episode's free game, fair game. You can go there and We and will listen. change our minds rapidly. Yeah. And humans passionately. Develop. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Anyway, follow Bryce, Bryce V. Mills. Campbell Walker is truthless 69. And most importantly, follow yourself. Do it. Do it. Look after yourself. We will say this. Love you. Love you. Case closed.